Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lowenstein, and today we are going to talk about uh, head trauma and headaches. So, it's Memorial Day. I'm playing pickleball with my family, and I got a little competitive, I guess. Actually, with another family as well, and I dove for a shot and uh, lost my balance, and my head bounced off of the pavement. Good news is I'm fine. Um, it looks worse than it is. Uh, but uh, even after that happened, uh, I could tell, you know, my neck had tightened up. And just like if you were having a whiplash injury from a car accident or a pickleball accident, um, your, my, my neck tried to seize up so it could get, uh, it could protect my head. Uh, it's a natural instinct. And, and so when the neck muscles seize up and you have a occipital nerve going right through it, that's gonna cause um, occipital nerve irritation, which is gonna cause subsequent either occipital neuralgia or migraines. Now it doesn't always happen. Sometimes the muscle seizes up around the nerve and then the muscle relaxes again, but sometimes because the muscle in the neck is seizing up so quickly, it's kind of like a, an athletic injury that you get micro tears that happen in the muscle and that causes scarring. And so that scarring, when it is near the nerve, can cause chronic irritation. The chronic irritation in the nerve gets sent, uh, sends signals to the brain that, that says, uh, things hurt and that is what causes many, many headaches. Tension headaches, migraine headaches, occipital neuralgia, several different diagnoses that can all come from this trauma around the nerve, sometimes even to the nerve. If the nerve stretches uh, it, it really um, quickly, same kind of thing. You can have tears of the little blood vessels um, around the nerve, uh, things like that. But the, the muscle tightness from tension headaches the muscle tightness from um, head trauma, all of those things cause chronic headaches. And a lot of my patients will come in and they'll be talking about this kind of headache or that kind of headache. And I'll ask if they've ever had trauma and they'll say, you know what? This has been going on for 15 years. And yeah, I do remember I got in a little car accident just before that. A lot of patients go, uh, this, I saw a patient yesterday, this all started in a motor vehicle accident in 1974. It's a, it's a very, very common thing. So just, you know, when you're thinking about your headaches and, you know, if you can recall head trauma, and certainly not all headaches come from head trauma, um, but, uh, you know, a lot of these issues are from tightening of the muscles uh, around the nerves and that happens as a natural instinct of your body to protect your head during traumatic events. So um, I, just something to think about and, and realize that you know what I do and what migraine surgery does is we go down and find the, the nerve within that muscle and release it from the tight muscle around. A lot of times we'll do the surgery and we'll see this scarred, tight musculature around the nerve. And so we release that musculature uh, from the nerve, or I should say release the nerve from that musculature, so that tightness can no longer irritate the nerve. Um, no longer does the nerve have irritation, no longer does the nerve send distress signals uh, to the brain, and there's no more headaches after the surgery. So um, again, just to kind of review, um, number one, maybe wear a helmet during pickleball? I don't know. Number two, um, you know, realize that it is not uncommon for head trauma to, uh, to cause, um, to cause uh, chronic headaches. Um, and it may not be quote unquote brain injury that is the problem. It really may be just the tightness of the muscle around the, the nerve. Um, and honestly, it very often is, is exactly that and not brain injury. Um, um, and uh, number three, 
if you have questions about your headache, um, you know, check us out at headachesurgery.com. We've got a lot of information there. And um, I am always happy to, uh, to uh, have a consultation with somebody to talk about what may be causing uh, your headache and how we can fix it. All right. Hope that's helpful. Take care.